So, being too cheap to buy Alea's dog, I just scrounged up a little bit of scrap. I'm going to bore a hole through here. I believe that's a half inch bore. And then I mount it into my uh, four jaw chuck this direction here. And drilled the clearance, or the, uh, excuse me, the root diameter for, oh, that's a uh, 5 16 24 clear on through. That gave me really good alignment when I put this rod here in the other side. That's threaded and stuck in there with some Loctite. And then just bent her over. Now I gotta put it in, trim it down to where it fits just right. And then I can use uh, this set up here. This is uh, not a Morris taper, it's just in the chuck. And what this allows me to do is I can dress that up 60 degrees and it'll be perfectly centered. It don't matter how much run out you have in your chuck if you do that. And just any time you put it in there, you know, you just touch it up. And that thing's four or five inches long, so we got a lot of touch-ups on there. So I'm one step closer to being able to uh, manufacture my new dials. So I'll use this dog to drive my 3 8 mandrel here. Oh, of course, I pick it up upside down, but oh boy, terrible focus. All right, there we go. See, even stamped at 375. Anyway, that'll go in here like this. I'll taper on my or drive on my dial blank. And then I plan to face both sides and turn the diameter. And then I can um, scribe the lines on it all without taking it off of the lathe. And I'll just have to change my tool and I want to get that that quick change so that I got everything you know set up where I can just drop in my tools and do each step but that is it for now we'll see you in a minute